Hello everybody, welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and today's problem solving technique is for basic accounting students. We'll be solving a problem about prepaid insurance. So basically, problems about uh, prepaid insurance are usually asks about the insurance expense at the end of the period or how much is the remaining asset portion of the prepayment at the end of the year. So uh, for most basic accounting students, you will usually encounter this kind of problem. So before you start listening uh, to me, <laughs> or before we start solving the problem, please download the handout that we have. The link is in the description box. So just click on that and then it will appear and then just have to download it. Okay, so let me read to you the problem and then let's start analyzing the facts of the case <laughs> in the problem. Minzy Company paid for in advance the following insurance policies during 2023. So we have three policies with their starting uh, points in which they were paid, and then the expiration dates and the total amounts. Okay, so I will write here the summary. So the first is Class N, which amounts to 7,068 pesos. And as you can see, it starts from June 30, 2023 to June 30, 2024. So it's easy. That's just uh, one year or you should translate it in two months, 12 months. Okay, next one is uh, class W. Which amounts to 16,128. which is from September 1, 2023 to August 31, 2025. So as you can see, August 31, and then the next day is actually September 1. So as you can see that from 2023 to 2025, that gives you two years. So two years is 24 months. And then the last one is Class J. which amounts to 30,132 and that runs from December 1, 2023 to November 30, 2026. So November 30, the next day is December 1, so it's easy to know that the duration is from 2023 to 2026, so that is 3 years, 12 times 3, we have 36 months. So that's how you start analyzing the problem and then it will be helpful for you later on if you will be getting the total but let's just do it later okay so remember in uh, adjusting entries you can either use asset method or expense method but we will not be going through the journal entries in this problem we will be directly solving the uh, the required questions or the required amounts that the problem asks you which is the insurance expense each reporting year and the remaining amount of the prepayment, which is your prepaid insurance that should be reported in the statement of financial position for each of the end of 2023, 24, 25, and 26. Okay, so let's start solving. Uh, I will be solving the insurance expense and then prepaid insurance together every year. So 2023 insurance expense and then prepaid insurance, insurance expense, prepaid insurance, so that you also get to compare how to properly solve them in your problem sets. Okay, so let's start with your insurance or insurance expense basically for 2023. Okay, so for December 31, 2023, we have to know the expired portion of the prepayment as far as 2023 is concerned. Let's compute for them for each of the class of the policies of insurance. So for class N, that is 7,068 times how many months have passed from June 30, 2023 to December 31, 2023. Again, we are solving for 2023 here. So, June 30 is actually July 1. So, July, August, September, October, November, December, that is 6 months. So, your multiplier will then be 6 months that had passed for 2023 over 12 months. 
which is the duration of your insurance. So, let's compute for that. 7,068 times 6 over 12 is 3,534. We do the same thing for class W and J. So, for class W, we have 16,128 multiplied by, so how many months? September, October, November, December 4, 2023. So, that is 4 months over 24 months of the insurance. So, that is 16,128 times 4 over 24. That is 2,680. And then for class J, 30,132. And then how many months have passed for 2023? December, so only one. So times 1 over 36. 30, 132 times 1 over 36. That is 837. Okay? So you just get the total. So 3,534 plus 2, 688. Plus 837, your insurance expense is in total 7,059, and this is your insurance expense. So, in your income statement, the insurance expense that will be reported in the December 31, 2023 income statement is 7,059. Now, let's get the total of all of these three because it started with 7,068 plus 16,128 plus 30,132. So let's get the total amount of the prepayment that was done that was done in 2023. So 7,068 plus 16,128 plus 30,132 that is 53,328. Okay? So let's now compute for the prepaid insurance as at December 31, 2023 in your statement of financial position. So, your starting balance would be the prepayment that was done in 2023, which is 53,328, less the insurance expense for 2023, which is this amount, 7,059. This is your prepaid insurance as of December 31, 2023 in your statement of financial position. So, 53,328 minus 7,059 that is 46,269. So, in your balance sheet, this is the remaining amount of your prepayment of insurance and you will report this amount in the December 31, 2023 statement of financial position. Let's now compute for December 31, 2024. Okay. We do the same process. You just have to know the number of months that has passed for that specific year. Now, we are already talking about 2024 here, so please forget everything in 2023 as far as expense is concerned. Why? You don't have to uh, be concerned about this anymore in 2024 because as you know, we are doing closing entries at the end of each accounting period. So, you have already closed this in the accounts in, and you say goodbye to it. Okay? So, we do another calculation for 2024. So, for N, that is 7,068. How many months have passed for 2024? We're done with the first six months of it during 2023. Okay? So, it, as you can see, it's actually just inside 2024, but it will be expiring on June 30, 2024. So, if you look at class N, since it will be expiring on 2024, specifically June 30, 2024, so you just have to compute the number of months until it expires because that's, uh, that is the expiration year for class N. So, January, February, March, April, May, and June. So, that is another 6 months. So, times 6 over 12, which is 3,534. Okay? And then, we good, we say goodbye to class N already. Okay? 
And then for class W, as you can see, it will expire on 2025. And then we also have already taken into consideration the expiration for 2023. So we are just talking about the whole and the totality of 2024. So automatically, 16,128 will simply be multiplied to the whole 12 months for 2024. So 12 over 24. 16,128 times 12 over 24, that is 8,064. Okay? And we do also the same thing for class J. So we're also talking about 2024 here. And the whole or the total totality of 2024, you have used that insurance. So also it's 12 months. So 30,132 times 12 over 36. 30,132 times 12 over 36. That is 10,044. So this is your insurance expense that will be reported in your income statement for the year ended December 31, 2024. 3,534 plus 8,064 plus 10,044. So that is 21,640. Okay. Again, that is your insurance expense. For December 31, 2024. Let's now compute for the remaining asset portion that will be reported in the Statement of Financial Position as at December 31, 2024. So you actually started with 46,269 less your insurance expense for 2024, which is, that's the expired portion for 2024, 21,640. So you deduct it, so you have 46,269 minus 21,642. That is your prepaid insurance as at December 31, 2024, which is 24,627. Now, uh, in your accounting problems, what usually happens is that, let's say, for example, you will be asked, how much is the insurance expense to be reported in the income statement for the year ended December 31, 2024? Well, the answer is 21,642 and this is what you should uh, choose in the multiple choice. However, some examiners would, would do it like this. They put this one and they add it together with this one thinking that the student will be computing the expense starting from 2023 until 2024. That is wrong, okay? Because again, we are going through closing entries at the end of each accounting period and you have already closed this during that time, okay? So you forget this when you're computing for another year. And you also forget this when we will be computing for 2025, okay? And now that we're in 2025, then let's compute for December 31, 2025. Pretty much the same process. Okay, so we already said goodbye to class N, and in 2025, we have an expiring or near-expiring policy, which is class W, which expires in August 31, 2025. So, for W, which is uh, 16,128, what happens is you just have to count the number of months until it expires in 2025. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, that is 8 months over 16,128 times 8 over 24, that is 5,376. And class, okay, so actually this one is the last uh, year for this policy. We say also goodbye to class double. Okay, and then for J, we have 30,132. It expires next year. So, as far as 2025 is concerned, you actually use it also for the whole 12 months. So you multiply it by 12 over 36, pretty much the same, 10,044. Okay? So this is your insurance expense for December 31, 2025. So 5,376 plus 10,044. So we have 15,000. 
420 as your expense for December 31, 2025. How much will be the remaining asset in the statement of financial position? So again, you deduct your insurance expense for 2025, which is 15,420. So this will be your prepaid insurance for December 31, 2020. So, 24, 6, 27, minus 15, 4, 20, that is 9,207 as your asset or the remaining asset portion. Okay? And now, we're down to the last year for the problem, which is 2026. We're just dealing with Class J. And actually, Class J is expiring on November 30. So, for class J of 30,132, multiply it by how many months uh, have it passed, or does it <laughs> have it passed for 2026? So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. So, that is 11 months for 2026 over 36. Okay, so 30,132 times 11. Uh, 11 over 36, 9,207. We don't have any other insurance policy anymore, so that is your insurance expense for 2026. Let's see if there is still a remaining asset portion because we also say goodbye to class J. So basically, we should not have anything Remaining. Let's see. We deduct your insurance expense for 2026, which is basically this one, 9,207. So, your prepaid insurance will not be reported anymore, basically, because it is already zero and you have already used everything until November 30, 2026, when Class J expires. Okay, so now the question usually that appears in the problem is, for example, how much is the insurance expense to be reported in the December 31, 2024 income statement? The answer is this one, 21,642. How much is the prepaid insurance to be reported in the December 31, 2025 statement of financial position? Then your answer will be 9,207. Okay? So that is our discussion for this session. Thank you and have a great day.